statements. Point of order, Carolyn Harris. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. If you will indulge me, Mr Speaker, can I please take a brief moment to thank everyone involved in the introduction of the Children's Funeral Fund? Since 2016, I have been asking the Government to introduce a fund that would assist bereaved parents during their darkest hour and financially support them in funding a funeral. I have at times been impatient. I have at times been frustrated, but I have always known it was the right thing to do. Now, the Prime Minister, the Honourable Members for Charnwood and Colchester, and indeed the civil servants, have delivered on my request. And I understand that from the 23rd of July, the Children's Funeral Fund will be operational. I thank everyone involved in making this happen, the organisations that have supported me, colleagues who have encouraged me, my family who, like me, have had to revisit our loss, my team who have held my hand, and you, Mr Speaker, for your understanding. Marty's Fund is a legacy for my son and will be a comfort to every parent that will need to use it in the future. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I think it's only right in a moment that if the Prime Minister wants to respond, she most certainly should do so. Can I just say to the Honourable Lady that the sheer passion, the sincerity and the integrity with which she has spoken and conducted herself are an example to us all. The determination which she has shown is an enormous credit to her, her constituency, her party, the House. And I think people across politics and beyond are inspired by the way she has behaved. And we are unstinting in our admiration for her. I think before the statement, let's hear from the Prime Minister on this matter, because she has brought matters to fruition. The Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And can I also commend the Honourable Lady for the work that she has done. This was born out of personal sadness but there are many families in the future who will benefit from the passion, commitment and determination that she has shown in championing this issue. She said sometimes she's been impatient. Sometimes you have to be impatient, um, because it's that impatience that spurs others on. I'm pleased that we have been able to introduce this fund, and I would echo the Speaker's comments in commending the Honourable Lady for the way in which she has championed this cause. As I say, we, we... share and are concerned about her own personal sadness that she went through, but she has taken that and put it to good benefit for families up and down the country. Yeah.